So now let's learn about estimating a linear trend model by looking at the weekly sales of organic chef designed meals from a local organic grocer. To get started, you're going to want to import the organic data set and label it my data. So once you have a chance to do that, we want to make sure you have the forecast package. If you do not have the forecast package installed, you're going to want to install it now. One way to check to see if you have a specific package is to check your packages pane and you can use the search tool here. I can type in the name of a specific package. In this case, I want to see if I have forecast. I see that I have it here. So I don't need to install it. If you need to install it, take a moment and install it. As always, install.packages and then in brackets and quotation marks the word forecast to get that installed. So once you have that installed, you want to add it to your working library so we can easily interact with the functions in that package. So I'm going to do that. Library forecast. I just type that into the console. I'm going to hit enter. And now it is attached and I can call on the functions within it pretty easily. So the first thing we want to do is create a time series object and we're going to call it new data. So our object is new data and we're going to use the TS function TS time series. I think it's pretty intuitive. You may not. You may get used to it. You may not. You can always come back here to jog your memory. So we're going to use the TS function and we're going to refer to the sales data in our organic data set. Data set. So my data dollar sign sales and then I want to specify the first and then the last periods in the data set. So my first period is C1. So my first week is one. We can even see that up here that that's the starting point. And then we want to put in the, the value that corresponds to the last period in our data, data set which if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we see is 52. So end is going to be C52. And I'll hit enter to create that object. Boom. Now we have this new data object. It's time series and it ranges from one to 52. So yay. Now that we've done this, we want to estimate a linear model that helps us explain the fluctuations in our data over time. And to do this, we're going to use the TSLM function. So time, seri time series linear model. So I'm going to create a model. We're going to call it TS reg. I'm going to use that TSLM function and new data is going to be the dependent variable and trend the independent variable. And now I hit enter, I created that object and we see it now in the environment pane. If I want a summary of it, I now have my output, I can see the equation, uh, I can see the, uh, the coefficients, and when I have the coefficients, I can determine the regression equation for my time series data. But what is perhaps the most useful function with time series data and linear trend models in R is our ability to use it as a forecasting tool. So. In this data set, we have the 
sales of these lovely chef curated organic meals for 52 weeks. But what if we want to know about the anticipated sales in weeks 53, 54, and 55? Well, to do that, we can use the forecast function. So I type in forecast, and then I want this forecast to use the TS reg model. And I want it to give me information on the upcoming three weeks. So uh, H is going to be equal to three. If I wanted to look at four weeks, H would be equal to four. If I want to look at 12 weeks, H would be equal to 12. H is just the number of periods, whether it's weeks, months, or seasons, depending on how your data are organized, you want to forecast out to. So now here we have our forecasts for weeks 53, 54, and 55. In this first column is the anticipated sales or demand for these chef curated meals. And then there are two sort of confidence intervals that are, are built around this point forecast value. For the purposes of your homework, that point forecast is probably going to be the most helpful thing. 